Hello and welcome to this absolutely sweltering day in the garden. Well, I've got a couple of problems with my cucumber plants. Not really doing very well with cucumbers this year. Let me show you the first problem. So I mentioned one of the cucumber plants was wilting. This is a real pity. This is market more and it's a, it's a really good, reliable cucumber ordinarily. It had a, had a little fruit there developing. Started to shrivel now. But this one has failed around the stem. So if I just lift that, I'll be able to show you the, the damage. So you can see here that the stem is sort of shriveled and darkened. I don't know exactly what's caused that. It may be some sort of rot, although now I'm looking there, there is a hole through there. So I wonder if that is pest damage. It looks like something has chewed right through the center of this stem. Yeah. I had thought that had, that had just sort of rotted there, but now I'm pretty sure that something has eaten it. And that's a real pity. But anyway, I mean, this plant is good for nothing. Its neighbor is doing fine. And this is Long Green Ridge. There's a start of young cucumbers on it there. So that one's not too bad. Now I always keep a few spare plants, at least for a couple of weeks after planting out but of course those plants were discarded a couple of weeks ago now. So I've got nothing to replace it with, but I've got a second problem in the greenhouse. So I've got to come through here and pinch out and tie in and tidy all of this up. But I've got two cucumber plants here. They're supposed to be telegraph. Now this one is just starting to produce its first fruit here. I don't see any others. Um, the other one has actually produced its first fruit. The problem is that it's not a telegraph cucumber. Now, I don't know if there's been some mix up with the seed or whether I've got the labels muddled up while I was potting them on. That's a possibility. Um, I'll show you a little picture on the screen. And you can see that the first fruit that appeared on this plant, well, that is definitely not a greenhouse cucumber. That is a ridge type. This one on the other hand, wow, it's very hard to tell when the fruits are so small. But this kind of has the, the shape and the longitudinal ridges that I would expect to see from a telegraph cucumber. It's quite possible that this one is the variety I meant to plant here. So that one I'm going to keep here. I'm going to get out of this greenhouse for a minute. It is so hot in here. Well, that's a bit better. So the problem there is that I've got a glasshouse cucumber and a ridge cucumber next to each other. And their pollination requirements are rather different. So if you've only grown, say, a modern all-female hybrid, you not, might not be entirely aware of the pollination issues with non-hybrid cucumbers. So there are really three types of cucumber you can grow. The first two, the old open-pollinated sorts, they're either glasshouse cucumbers or ridge cucumbers. So traditionally grown under cover or grown outdoors. Though there's nothing to stop you growing ridge cucumbers in a polytunnel or a greenhouse. Actually, they grow quite well in there. So your ridge cucumber, I think you could think of that as an ordinary cucumber. It produces male and female flowers and the female flowers need to be pollinated in order to produce fruit. So with those, you want to leave the male flowers on the plants. Now they would get pollinated probably easier outdoors than they would under cover. But at this time of year, when you've got 
doors and vents open on greenhouses or polytunnels, then there's a good chance that they will get reasonable pollination under cover as well. The glasshouse cucumber, on the other hand, is what they call parthenocarpic. It's one of those plants that can produce fruit without pollination. Now, under normal circumstances, the fleshy part of the fruit, that forms in response to fertilization and the development of the seed. And for most crops, in order to get the fruit, the flower has to be pollinated. Parthenocarpic fruits, they don't need to be pollinated. The fruit will develop without fertilization. So there are, there are a number of examples in the garden. Figs um, in this country are the parthenocarpic sort. So they produce their fruits without pollination. They can't be pollinated in this country because the insect that does the pollination is not present. There's a little fig wasp that normally does it in their native environment. So only those sorts that will produce the fruit without fertilization can be grown here. Actually, the fruit is really, it's a, an inside out flower. Um, another example would be seedless grapes. Most grapes, the, the grape itself forms in response to the development of that seed. Not the case with seedless grapes. Um, and these greenhouse cucumbers are just like that. So they don't need to be pollinated. And in fact, if they do get pollinated, the fruit will typically turn out rather bitter. So for the glasshouse cucumbers, you want to pick off all of the male flowers to make sure that pollination doesn't happen. The third type is kind of a development of that glasshouse cucumber. It, it's a hybrid sort of cucumber which tends to produce only female flowers. I say tends to produce because sometimes they can produce male flowers. It's typically a sign of stress with those, but generally speaking, they produce female flowers and you, you don't have to worry about picking flowers off. Now I'm growing the old fashioned sort here. And so I need to pick the male flowers off of the telegraph cucumbers. And there's my problem. It sat next to a ridge cucumber. It shouldn't have been a ridge cucumber, but it certainly is one. So those two aren't compatible. I need pollination on the ridge type and I definitely don't want pollination on the telegraph. So what I'm going to have to do is take one of those out. So I might as well move that ridge cucumber and put it where the other one has failed. And hopefully whatever chewed its way through the stem the last time isn't hanging around waiting for its next meal. Now I don't know how successful this move will be. It's not really the right time to be moving anything. But in any event, this one cannot stay here if I want to have any of my glasshouse cucumbers. I'll get rid of that label. It certainly isn't telegraph. Okay, one more tie. Well, if I can get it in its new home without breaking the stem, maybe it will carry on growing there. So when I come through here next and pinch out and tie in these plants, I will move this one over a little bit and it can just come up the center. It'll space things out here a little bit better. So that will be fine. and I. If this gets going now, I mean, it's got its first fruit there. This will give me plenty of cucumbers. I tell a lie, that is not its first fruit. There's another one down there. 
Yeah, I th I think that I think that is Telegraph. We will find out in a week or two. But it will give me plenty of fruit. I don't really need two of them in here. Once they get going, they are quite prolific. I put two in here so that there was one spare. So, yeah, this should be fine. So I'll just cut the ties on this old one. Get rid of that. Now these are a bit sad and droopy. I need to give these a bit of water as well. But there's tons of broad beans coming on these. This is a dwarf bean, the Sutton, so these pods never get too big, but I should be harvesting those in, well, a couple of weeks probably. Looks like there's gonna be a great crop here. But if I can just get in between those plants, take out a bit more soil here. As before, I will set this so that the plant is a little bit a little bit above the soil. Oh, that'll be perfect. And then what do I do with my string? That's not it. There we go. Just tie that up. Right. So in here I've just mounded that up slightly so that the, the level here is, is higher than the surrounding soil. And I do that to try and discourage rot from here. I know new roots will come out of the stem here. You can see them doing it here possibly. You might just be able to make that out. Um, but even so, I don't, I don't want to bury this, this stem. I want to leave that just slightly mounded up. And hopefully we won't have any more problems here. So I'll give those beans and the cucumber a really good soak. They could do with tying up, really. And I am melting in this heat, so I'm certain that the celeriac's not going to be too happy here. Looks to be growing very well, but these plants want moist conditions. So while I'm here with the hose, I will give these a good soak as well. So hopefully that solves the cucumber problem. I'll have to give it a drop of water from time to time over the next week or so till it gets its roots down there. It won't be entirely happy having been moved today. Um, now all I need to do is just keep pinching out the male flowers on what I think is the telegraph cucumber. If it turns out not to be a glasshouse cucumber, then those fruits won't set. They will turn yellow and fall off. So we will find out about that in a week or two, I would have thought. It should be quite clear by then. But anyway, that is all for this video. Thanks ever so much for watching and bye for now. <laughs>